Well, essentially, the former Prime Minister Imran Khan faces a slew of, of cases, uh, court cases against him. He's been charged on, on several counts. I mean, some reports indicate that there might be as many as 80 cases registered uh, against him. And the main problem is that he has simply refused to appear in court to face these charges. Now, um, his position is that he has refused to do so because in the first instance, of course, he was indisposed, as you know, uh, you know, he was shot at and badly injured and really was unable to move. But he has also claimed that security uh, at court premises um, is, is such and so poor that, you know, he cannot uh, take the risk of putting his life in danger again. And that was really what, what yesterday's, uh, you know, dramatic event uh, was was all about basically uh, holding him to account for evading arrest. Yeah, and it was dramatic. It seemed almost like overkill. Do you think that's played into his hands and he's played it up to many of his supporters? Well, there's no question that, I mean, the stakes at, at the present time are extremely high and the propensity for violence, uh, you know, just just as high. Uh, of course, uh, Imran Khan believes that, you know, uh, the entire uh, uh, sort of course of events uh, has been manufactured to, to delay elections. As you may know, uh, the Supreme Court not so long ago ordered the government to hold provincial elections uh, in two provinces, one of them, of course, the largest province in pa Pakistan, Punjab. Uh, and Yohan himself is pressing for early general elections, which the incumbent government, uh, by all accounts, is extremely reluctant uh, to, to grant. Of course, it, it can hold out until October if events uh, allow. But at the moment, uh, you know, there is a sense that, you know, as far as the government is concerned, it is doing everything to manufacture a situation to delay these elections. Are they, in your opinion, also manufacturing uh, and pressing to try and get Imran Khan behind bars so that he can't run again for office? Of course, that that uh, in the minds of many is 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 part of part of the calculation. I mean, he seems to have taken on the state uh, and every single state institution uh, from the military, which of course was seen very much as his original benefactor and sponsor, who facilitated his return to power. To to uh, of course Parliament, he has refused to 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 sit in Parliament. Uh, and uh, and of course uh, the government of the day, uh, which he has accused of, of of looting and of acting like thieves. So, you know, it's what what we're seeing really is is unprecedented in Pakistan. I mean, this is not, you know, Imran Khan is not a common criminal. He is an elected member of parliament, a former prime minister, uh, you know, who has decided uh, that, you know, he is simply above the law. Uh, and uh, I think the authorities really are at a loss to know how to handle this completely unprecedented turn of events. Yes, exactly. Um, <clears throat> The Prime Minister, though, today, there's been a, a very important and critical IMF bailout that uh, they've been waiting on. I see news today that the current Prime Minister believes the way has been cleared for that to, to be able to be accessed. Do you think that will be helpful to the current regime if they were able to access that, 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 those funds? Well, we've had a series of statements from the Prime Minister, from the Finance Minister over the last few weeks that a deal with the IMF is imminent and somehow it never seems to materialise. At the last moment, there is always, you know, some hurdle that, 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 that surfaces which makes that bailout uh, impossible. But I think, you know, if one were to read the rules, it's clear that the IMF is extremely disturbed by the ongoing state of political instability 
stability uh, in Pakistan and I think is seeking assurances that in the event that it gives the green signal and goes ahead with this bailout, that conditions that have been agreed will be adhered to. And at the moment, I think, it simply doesn't have that confidence. Yes, and uh, and the recent events over the last couple of days only probably compounds that problem. Fazana, great to have you with us. Thanks so much. Thank you.